Charlie's Someone said been, WNF? Yeah, yeah. Charlie's been doing pretty well in this matchup. I think overall he has the set advantage over Nico, but uh, Ooh, Nico tough. did beat him at WNF. At WNF. So he's won the last encounter. Actually, it was two sets, right? Yeah, it was two sets. Yeah. Because Nico is a loser. Nico has been going violent here and there, but I feel like he knows. Okay, you know what? It's time to put the character away here and get down the brass tacks. Yeah, that, the Violet versus Larry did look so hot, and it just might be a really hard matchup for him right now. So he might as well just go with the character that he knows he capable of beating Charlie is right now. There's my chase slice. I like how he spaced the forward tilt too, just to account for the fact that Nico might have gone for the attack. Oh, Wolf off the stage, man. Wolf? That's a free forward air. Oh, oh. That was good, though. See, the situation there was that Charlie tried to angle it where he can avoid getting hit by the very end of forward air. Yeah, he even saved his double jump, too, to make it, like, as hard as possible for Nico to get a free edge guard. He just couldn't make it back. Okay. Tech chase? Oh. oh, man. He dashed back to it to catch the roll in. I thought that was going to be a good smash attack, but... Oh, that was nope. Good. No uh, footstool out of shield, so, like, he can't get that up B to work correctly after the parry. Damn, no, this Buster no is putting in work, man. We saw him do it against Bestness over in Colorado in the tournament. Or until Charlie finally gets a little bit of opportunity here at the ledge. Can uh, he get the reaction all the time? I thought that was a free up to when he was in free fall there, but yeah. he just didn't swing. Good call for Charlie. He doesn't try to risk anything much. He goes for a safe grab. And a pummel to boot as well. Um, Dude, every time that Shulk turns red at the ledge, you know you just clinch up a little bit. <laughs> oh, nice. Caught the neutral get up with the last second back there. That's two whole stocks for Nico before but, uh, Charlie's even taken one. And honestly, with the shield art, he could probably live another, like, 40% on this stock. What? Yeah, nice. That's a good call from Charlie. This time he approached from above, too. Air Slash does uh, leave Shulk lingering out there for a little bit. Yeah, great edge guard. Oh, nice. Caught him with the shield art. That will run out the more damage he takes here. Yeah, Charlie even said that he like specifically tries to find combos that work while using the shield art, just so he can get as much damage on him as possible. And that's what I like to see too when it comes down to players like Charlie labbing out shield art combos. Yeah, that's gonna be what's gonna push the meta for Charlie here in this matchup. Okay. Now throw, nice. Ooh, that was very threatening here. Just Charlie being out in the air there for a possible back air. Miss it from Nico. Oh my god, the spacing is so good from both of them, but Nico's going to find a way. Ooh, and he wanted to get the back air, but Charlie reaches in there. Oh. oh. Yeah. Nico will save him barely. I know, uh. he, I know, so he wanted to reverse it a very slash back to kill Charlie at the end. Yeah. But if he just let him die, it would have been over. This gives Charlie another second chance of life, though. Nico and Shield right, it's gone. The activation. I like that. Charlie is hunting for the percent here in the neutral. He knows. Okay, watch the ledge shot from Shulk, though. All right, he gets the same stage safety, but... Oh, oh close man. To the back close to it. Yeah, this is still comeback potential for Charlie, man. Oh, Great yeah. Parry. And, and this is... Oh! All hold up, man. opportunity. He's got jumper. Oh, He's got jumper. Man. I was going to say. He's no, I... I uh, that, that, no, no, we're man. living. Wow, that movie's... Yeah, I'll tell him. I'll tell Yeah, good trade. That was so no, good from Charlie, I, too. Yeah, that was almost a comeback, but I thought once he... Force B up B, he would just go for the free down there. Oh, yeah, he already, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he already did the slash. The, the second one. Yeah, the second one will uh, push you forward just enough to actually be able to grab the ledge, especially in jump art. That was really good from Charlie. He brought it up a bag way back, too. And it, like I said earlier, if Nico had just never let Edge guard Charlie at that situation, Charlie would have been gone. So Charlie just said, you know what, if you're going to let me come back, I'm going to push this to the limit. Stop the battle. Yeah, even in the other uh, match that Larry played, he um didn't go, he didn't opt to just go off stage as much. Yeah. Unless he was like, for sure you didn't have a double jump, and like, he, for sure like, you're gonna up in this exact spot, like, I'll just go off stage. But like, he's not going as super aggressive off stage, willy nilly. Kind of like what we're used to seeing him in this match. Right? Charlie gets a nice punish here. 28% pushing into 36. Nico with the parry. I forget how long that was. It's just mad. 
You know it's very long, but like when you just see it happen, you're like, damn, it's that long. Oh, nice. nice on the reaction to the board so immediately. Yeah, I think Buster even does a little bit more shield stun too. It so does. the fact that he knows to like parry that, so he's able to get a decent punish after, it's really good. It's got more shield stun, more shield damage. Oh, that ledge jump getting caught this time. First it was the neutral get up getting caught, now it's the ledge oh. jump. Wait. Yeah, he's good. He's good. It's, he's good. Oh, jump art. Oh, far, no. though. Even with the jump art, too far. Nope, no shield poke there for Charlie, but, oh man, the art switch, so fast. Nice, Charlie holding on the center stage really well. Ooh, even the up air was safe on shield because he crossed it up, and now that fastball up returns to 50 percent. Oh my god, please don't. Try to run into this buster. <laughs> he knows. He knows. Worth it. When you start trading, when you start getting eaten up by that purple Monado, games can just slip away in an instant. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice blaster. Forcing a low oh, here. Man. Oh, nice. Man, he just hasn't been able to connect that F tilt on that free fall animation of the up B so far. That would have been so many stocks for Charlie already. <gasps> Wait. No, he can recover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! And you can kind of laughing at that one. He, what did he hit him with after the tech? I have no idea, man. But he fought for it. And Charlie had the call out, too. He knows. This time we'll make the call, but Nico steals any opportunity Charlie would have had on the stock. It almost looked like Charlie was ready for Nico to take the down air, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, it looks like he was, he was fighting for it. Dang, that's And then crazy. Nico accounted for that as well. Nonetheless, though, resets the stocks here. Map percents, though, are ever changing here. 47%. Yeah, at least Charlie is not getting lit up by the. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, and he, that, <laughs> oh, that changed the minute you opened your mouth. Oh, back. my. I thought he was right oh. out of the meter before then. Oh, wait. Nigo's kind of swinging a little bit crazy right now, though. Yeah, shield arm. Ooh. Right. Oh, man, the pivot. So. That's the ledge where he wants him. Oh, right man. He wants the extra percent. Oh, oh. close, too. Oh, there it is. Yeah, he waited. He saw he the waited. jump already in the drift towards stage. Drop zone. Fair. Nico going to take it 2-0 already. Now he's only one game away. So he's going to never set win over Charlie. This will be Charlie's lowest placing tournament as of yet. Uh, really? In terms of this past week. In terms of this year so far. Out of every tournament... Charlie and Sokka. Yeah, he's. His place is really, really high. With him at least, like. I mean, top four, nothing to scoff at. Yeah. Oh. oh. But lately, he's just oh. been getting top three. Oh, whoa, 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 hold the phone. All right. Charlie has, like. He's got Lucina. I, I know he has some secondaries. Yeah. And I know he, like, feels like Mario is a broken character. So, like. Mario is broken. Don't let anybody tell you different. And I don't know. It's weird, because, like. This, on paper, this is supposed to be a hard matchup for Mario, but like Nico doesn't really like fighting Mario. You know? I feel like that's what Charlie's accounting for. Nico's hatred towards the character, and then oh my god. Okay. That throw, Buster Art. Nice. Covering him with a little bit of neutral air. He knows. Can't let this man come back on the stage. Man, that was, how did Charlie fight out of the corner when Buster was just like a president for almost like 10 whole seconds? When you talk about that, oh, that was close. Oh, Wait, and the reversal here. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. He jumped to go for that down air. Kaniko being a little bit too greedy with that situation. You can tell how extra aggressive Nico's being. He's just not like anymore. Yeah, he wants. <laughs> like he's being extra aggressive. He wants like the set over. Especially, like, he doesn't want to lose to Charlie's, like, pocket card either. We'll see. Yet to get this first stock off. Charlie's just racking up all the free percent. Nice. Got the tech to his quarter. Oh Into a platform extension. All the percent right now. Man. So good. Like, I don't know what it is. Charlie, like, if it's a like, yeah, he, 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 he,
If the character has a, like a combo game, he's like gonna go crazy with it. But Vision, rare footage of Vision actually working as intended. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, Buster time. Oh, oh my God, fifty <laughs> percent. That shuts down Charlie's approach. Yeah, he yeah. knows. Like, hold he's on, like, hold, hold on. on. I just took how much for interacting with Shulk? I'm just gonna hang back though. He's got Nico pretty much at that percent if he gets the right parry. Edge card right here for Charlie. Nico sneaks in the second hit of air slash bang. Some time in the parry, okay. Charlie's not gonna let Nico get more than into the stage here. Good call on the aerial from the shield. Yeah, I he, thought he was gonna go for yeah, the cave. He should have. Like, I thought he was gonna just straight out steal a play from Zingu's book and go for that cave. I mean, you see 162 on Nico. That doesn't mean Nico can't take things back here from him. Good call on the aerial. He's just swinging that up smash, man. Like, I know you're going to jump into me with the aerial. Hold the F smash. The F smash. Oh. oh. Nice. Oh, that was close. Dude, he was doing such a good job of keeping him directly above him. Oh, man. That player is so safe to chill, too. Especially if it crosses up. Oh, yeah, nice positioning, man. There was very little that Charlie could do to avoid that setup. Oh, that's such a good air slide. All the way from deep in this edge. Nope. Charlie going for a lot of these, like, mix-ups on shield, but Nico's not biting whatsoever. Oh. Now they're okay. Oh, Ooh, nice change up, man. I don't, I don't even, I don't even know if Nico immediately swung a move on landing, but like, just the fact that he didn't go for aerial after the down throw, I think threw Nico off. Yeah. Hey, okay, actually, the, the first game Charlie gets off of Nico is with his Mario, not his Wolf. Kind of crazy to think that like, in his loser's bracket life, he's going a completely different character. Yeah, I think for Nico too as well. Like he, he knows it's yeah. if it's one W from Charlie from the from the Mario, there could be another, and it's it's a lot of like situations where I think he's trying to avoid being in game five of Charlie's Mario. Yeah, especially in a matchup that you know Shulk supposedly wins. I, I think it's definitely Shulk's matchup favor, but the situation here, it's like if. The thing about Shulk's aerials is like you're seeing anywhere from frame 10 to frame 14 for an aerial versus Mario, who has really great airspeed, really great combo potential. Yes, Shulk can space out Mario with that range, but you're looking at 14 frames of lag, you know, for an aerial. Yeah, it's got range here, but once Mario just bypasses that, that range moves up in the 14, especially in 14 frames. So Charlie knows I keep it close, I keep it tight, and I have nothing to worry about when it comes to spacing. Textbook as textbook footsies is one would say, right? Back air horse. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's close. That's I don't close. blame him because he did not. He did snipe the jump there. So if he got that cape, it would have been curtains for Nico's first stock. Oh, man. Still, though, like, Charlie is working with this. Oh, Ooh, nice okay. tricks, man. He wanted him to commit the out of shield. And I'm telling you, dude, each, each stock. Stock is just mental damage on the and I know it. And what affect me too, man. I hate fighting Mario as much as the next guy. Yeah, I just can see how Mario can be frustrating. He has so many safe areas of shield. Like, you, you mess up on the DI a little bit, you die from combo. It's just the fact that, like, Mario could get so much off of getting any raw combo. It doesn't matter. You're looking at about 50 to 80 percent anywhere in the opportunity if you're not ready. Oh, swing in the forward and not. Yeah, you don't want to give any give away any free stocks in this situation, especially when you get so close. And that's good from Charlie too. He actually waited on the angel platform from the shield. Like just I'm sorry, the speed like just died a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. What's good if your shield out when you just become Ooh. combo food and the shield out is literally just gone? Yeah, it does go away the more damage you take. Yeah, right, correct. Yeah, the more damage you take, it'll go away. Makes the heaviest character in the game gives you extra shield health. But the more you hit it, it'll go away faster. 18 seconds of cooldown, the longest of all the arts. One of the longest of these. All right, we're trying to make this comeback happen, but I feel 
the next jumping tries to pull off is getting caught by Ooh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. Up smash, but great parry down smash from Charlie. Oh, so close. That was good too. He wanted to call an eagle for going for an aerial. I slash, yeah, second hit will definitely get Charlie. Nice. Nice catch there for Nico. And you can't knock Charlie out, dude. He's on Nico. He nah. knows. I, I, I will never sleep on Charlie's ability to make a comeback, even with never. Mario. But you have to respect Nico now, because look at the spacing he's looking at. He knows space down for the landing, right? Look at that. He just backs off because he knows. I can't. I gotta walk away with 147 as much as possible, because the next stock might as well just be Charlie's if he gets anything on me. Oh! Oh, stayed under him with the F2, okay. Oh, yeah, the stage oh. here. Nico's got jump, oh. and he waits for the return. Oh, he didn't get the second splash, but he has so much ledge control right here. Oh, my God, this Buster is putting in so much percent. Every little hit that Nico connects, he's just icing on the cake. And Charlie. He wanted wow. to smash for him. He wanted to smash for him. Yeah, he wanted, he to wanted the easy back throw and smash art. But, yeah, we're looking at Charlie's potential last talk. Back throw and smash art. No, we're no. living barely, but... Charlie's DI will always be one of the greatest out there in the world. So you know he's not going to be out whatsoever. Yeah, what? that was that yeah, was a, that was a really good opportunity. Yeah, Nico wanted to get an opportunity where Charlie was just going to he was going to get a win situation.